Well, good afternoon from Two Happy Children Farm, November 20th, and I'm walking through our fall and winter fields of vegetables. You might watch the channel and get a lot of videos on corn. Uh, that's fine. I try to document what we're doing over there. But this is a good time to look at our vegetable side because this is where we pay the bills. And uh, I know there's a few other vegetable farmers out there um, that I follow and uh, mostly from the Midwest or Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't know of anyone else doing what we're doing. We're in Central Texas, so we farm 365 days a year. And we basically have a new harvest of a coal crop coming every three to four weeks. So this field illustrates what uh, lots of learning and trial and error can do for you. Um, next to me, you can see I have an old hard squash field. Uh, laid in mulch, plastic mulch uh, back in the spring and what we do with our uh, melon crops and and hard squash crops is we leave the mulch standing and we come back and plant them with a second crop um, so you'll see the rows are burned down here we have old uh, vines from watermelons sitting here and uh, very few weeds because this was a, a summer field so now we're rotating into winter so we don't have a lot of uh, winter annuals to deal with here and uh, so we go back soil test the beds and make sure we're putting the right amount of fertilizer through the drip tape and we're good to go so these cauliflower here should be ready to cut in about three weeks and only one, about one in five years do we lose um, winter crops. Next to them we have artichokes. So you can kind of get an idea of what our temperature range is. It's very good for growing artichokes. Uh, like I said, maybe one in five years we'll get a 10 degree night. And uh, that'll be really tough on the artichokes. Just depends on the duration. If it's not too long, um, they'll be fine. And then we do staggered planting. So you see the next field coming up down there. And if you look really far away, there's some even smaller stuff coming. So it's continuous uh, winter crop harvest. This will go through April. And it shows an example of us reusing our, our beds, uh, using our heads, and uh, having some harvest every, every week. So if you're curious, we're just running, just me and my wife. It's not a hundred man operation. And uh, we just farm as, as efficiently as we can. And we grow as much as we can pick in a week and uh, know that we have a market to sell it to in a week as well. It's kind of pointless to grow it without a market. So 100% or so goes to our local farmers market, Wolf Ranch Farmers Market in Georgetown. And on the case that we have a little bit extra, um, we market to some local restaurants. But we do not grow for wholesale. Um, maybe that accounts for why we are a little more aggressive on our management style. Um, you may not see plastic mulch with coal crops anywhere but for us. And uh, this is a pretty small field from a commercial standpoint. But it's enough for us to handle and do a really good job at a farmer's market. So thanks for watching. Yes, we grow more than just field corn. And this is our bread and butter that will take us through the winter.